In this AutoCAD tutorial, I want to talk about a couple of solid editing tools that can help you polish off a model, and those are fillet and chamfer edges. So to find those, other than typing them in, a very easy way to get to them would actually be to go to the solid tab on the ribbon, and then off to the center in the solid editing section, there's fillet edge and chamfer edge. You can actually still work with the fillet and chamfer option, um, in the two-dimensional sense, uh, but this is just a little bit easier and more geared for what we want to do. So with fillet edge, uh, it looks like fillet. If you were to uh, you know, select around the top, for example, we can round that off nicely, and that can be really handy you know, for furniture and countertops and all sorts of things like that. So what I'm going to do is take a look at the command line with the fillet edge command active and notice that it says chain loop and radius there so the first thing I'm going to want to do is actually do R for radius and you know change this one inch three inches six inches whatever you want to do uh, and this is going to be how much it rounds it off I'll do three enter for three inches and then if I just go in and select an edge of my solid model it will do each of them as I select them and then when I hit enter it will finish the command I can either press enter now to accept the fillet or change the radius so if I do R enter and maybe make that 6 enter I can actually watch it live um, as it updates which is a really handy thing so I could go back in and say you know maybe 6 was too big so I can do R enter 4 enter. So you can see that once you get the edges selected, you're able to go in and actually tweak it, which is uh, you know, a very cool function. So that's using fillet. You're really just changing one number to get a nice curve. If I used chamfer, that's going to bevel an edge. So it's very similar. I just have to keep two numbers in mind. So with that, I'm going to type in D for distance. So the distance I might say is four inches. And I could do four inches again, and that's going to give me a nice 45 degree angle. So I could come in, pick these two, and then that third one. And now what I've done is actually beveled all those in. Now, if I didn't like that, I could go in, of course, and say D for distance. I could do two enter six enter and now you see that that's a different angle what's happening is I'm going in two inches and then down six from right here so it's two then six if I change it again I could do three inches and three inches to get that that even three and three here again once I have something I like I can just hit enter and I've accepted the chamfer so those are really handy tools to start polishing off a model and making it look a little bit more complete. So once again, those are on the solid tab on the ribbon under solid editing. Let's fill it in chamfer.